Okay guys, Dr. Anthony G. Beck, and I figured I'd do a little video today um, for my quantum health group on uh, Facebook. All my uh, fellow biohackers and people and so forth and so on. So anyhow, uh, we were talking today about grounding. Grounding shoes, does leather ground or not? Hence, you know, I had to bust out the, you know, my Harley type jacket, you know, like it's that bad boy side. But anyhow, so let's experiment. So here's what I've got. Uh, to answer the question, this is a microcurrent stimulator. Now, in um, uh, oriental medicine and those who are smart enough in other fields and disciplines to work on the ear and the auricular um, stimulation that we can do to the nervous system, we use this microcurrent e-stem device, okay? And how this works really simply is, is there's a metal point of contact there and there's a big metal point of contact here. And what we do is we turn it on, it's got a sound, we know it's on. Okay, now all we have to do is we, it makes a sound when we complete the circuit. So I'm gonna be touching this metal here, and I'm gonna touch this metal here. And that's how we know if it's conducting or grounding electrons, right? So let's take, let's, let's take a thing. So the question today was, it was, does leather um, conduct? Well, I even went so far as to grab my pimpalicious little Leather baby shoes. Back in the day, we used to put babies in leather. Isn't that amazing? So these are leather. They're completely leather inside and out. Okay. So I'm going to show it's full green leather. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger and I'll put it on the inside here of the leather. Dry as a bone. It's 45 years old. And then I'm going to make sure I'm touching the the uh, the metal here. And then we're going to see. Now look, just to show you, I'm doing it. Okay. See, it goes off when I touch skin and I make a big circuit through my body. Now, let's see what happens when I go through the leather. Real thin leather that, that, that does not connect, okay? Still touching the, the, the stuff here. No shenanigans. Just go to my skin, it connects. On the other side, this thin, dry leather, it's not conducting, okay? Let's take a look at my cotton polyester blend. Nope, doesn't conduct through that either. Okay, now let's take a look at my plastic um, rubber polymer grounding mat, which I have going to my grounding plug over there, and let's see if it connects. Okay, well look at there. Okay, isn't that pretty cool? All right, now here's the other cool thing. So I'm gonna bring the camera down here. Okay. I'm gonna show you something also pretty cool. Cause you know, sometimes your feet get cold. All right, so here I am touching. Get in the camera here. Grounding mat, it grounds. Now, what about through cotton socks? Well, look at there. Okay, so some natural materials actually do allow you to ground. So you don't have to be barefoot outside if you don't want. And they're not wet and I'm not sweaty. I just put them on for this video, right? See. Goes through it, okay? So, cotton can ground. Pretty cool. So, back up here. Now, the thing about it is, we talk about wool. Wool can too, if it's thin enough. If it's too thick. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at the leather and see if that conducts, all right? So, what I'm doing is, is, if I touch this leather, which is nice and supple in condition, because you know, yeah, I just said supple connected to. If I touch it, leather conducts there. Oh, isn't that interesting? It's all about level of hydration. Now, what if I touch through this leather? Now, it'll be two layers, okay, through there. It does not conduct. But if I keep this on this side and I touch the metal that goes through to the other side, it does. So when you have leather shoes that have those little grounding um, metals on it, Okay, it does connect, well, because it's going through, okay? But all the way through, nothing. On the same side, it does. Why? Because of strength of the current. Does that make sense? Here's my lab coat, there's cotton right there. This one does not conduct, but my socks did, right? Isn't that interesting, okay? So, different things, it all boils down to how thick it is how hydrated it is, if, if it actually has air pockets in it or not, um, a lot of different factors. So what's the take-home lesson? The take-home lesson is, is quantify. Imagine that. 
if you want to buy some shoes or some flats or some slips or some cowboy boots, these probably cost, I don't know, about 75 bucks, 100 bucks, something like that. Um, this one is the Stem Plus Pro. The Stem Plus Pro. But, uh, of course, we use this to tonify. We push a little button and we, we zap electricity into acupuncture points. Pretty cool. Ooh, a little tingle. So, anyhow, hopefully that answers the question. Can uh, leather or does leather allow us to ground? Well, the question is, maybe. Not all leather shoes. But as a general rule, leather is an insulator, not a conductor. There are little context things like that here. So, hopefully this helps answer your questions. Good stuff.